and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched, where so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs were singing. An important tradition at Farmingdale is to recognize our service women and men in this graduating class. I invite these individuals to stand and remain standing until you're all recognized when you are called. First, Vanessa Jones, Army. Next. Nicholas Sumsky, Army. And finally, Ashton Jonak, Marines. I would like to note that these young women and men have chosen, or young lady and young man, have chosen to serve our country in the various branches of the United States Armed Forces. These individuals have committed to protect and serve our country, and we all thank you for your service. 
As always, I'm truly honored to the opportunity to be part of this significant threshold in your lives. And for those of you who are counting, you're going to hear a common word, and that is any, deriv any derivative of the word life. You're going to hear different variations of life, lives, in your lives, because this is a symbolic threshold, the moment that you're crossing. And to me, the most significant accomplishment in your young lives so far. Thank you to our Farmingdale Board of Education members and Central Administration for your continued support. In the month or so leading up to today, a handful of students were asked to remark on their experiences these last four years. They shared their impressions of their time at Farmingdale High School. I want to offer insights to underscore these expressions and bring them to life. First, one student expressed how there was always something or someone to connect with. I agree. There are broad options and experiences for you to take part in and people to interact with. And what you likely learn as a result is that even though you may have different perspectives and values that motivate you to act one way or another, you learned to communicate, listen, and sought resolve for any disagreements to better understand those differences. For the rest of your life, you will rely on this realization. Another stated, our class grew close because we went through so much together. Yeah, your selflessness and active citizenship has been on display. On June 14th, during a ceremony marking our pilot year in the program for a civic seal of civic readiness, we recognized your civic knowledge. Farmingdale High School is one of only 117 schools across New York and only nine on Long Island who were given the opportunity to participate in a program with the notion that civic readiness SEAL recipients show the ability to make a positive difference in the public life of our communities. This done through the combination of civic knowledge, skills, actions, mindsets, and experiences. We are both proud and confident that graduates in this class are prepared for college, careers, and civic readiness. A third shared, I enjoyed my time here and the friends and people who helped me along the way. Well, here are a few allusions to the meaning behind these enjoyable times in your lives. And to this, I hope you did not have to shave your head or swallow a goldfish to enjoy that time. I hope you did not have to endure daytime poolside gatherings during times of remote instruction. And I hope that means you found your way to school the Friday before Memorial Day, and as well, the Tuesday after Memorial Day. Because last I checked, these were regular school days. Instead, enjoy how you advocated for change with our homecoming court. 
Enjoy how you initiated a mental health pledge for your classmates to consider and to raise awareness. And enjoy how you have used your self-discipline, intellect, and effort to reach this goal today. Our Farmingdale High School class of 2022 has shown us how to balance and enjoy what life has to offer while accomplishing academic, athletic, and accolades in the arts and music along the way. Continue to take advantage of all that your lives have to offer. At 5.13 a.m. today, the summer solstice began. Take advantage of every minute today, it's the longest day of the year, and celebrate your graduation. You're prepared for what lies ahead in your lives, and I cannot wait to see your impact on this world. And if you ever need help, as I've said before, the door to Farmingdale High School is always open. We congratulate you and wish you only the best. I'd like to invite the Dean for the senior class, Mr. Kirk Mason, to address the class one last time. Mr. Mason.
is my honor to introduce the salutatorian for the Farmingdale High School class of 2022, Miss Amanda Truitt. Amanda has earned this distinction by accumulating an overall weighted GPA of 104.82. A truly amazing accomplishment. But that's not the whole story. Not only is she a stellar student, but she has somehow found time to participate in many school clubs and organizations, such as Costume crew, the costume crew of the Play Club Crafters, Model UN, the SAD Club, the Red Cross Club, the Ethics Bowl, Chamber Orchestra, Vocal Jazz Ensemble, Student Council, there's more, Tri-M, French Honor Society, Thespian Honor Society, National Honor Society, Science National Honor Society. If you're ever looking for Amanda, she's probably in the building after school, participating in some sort of club or social activity. She describes herself as a leader and a team player who loves to sing and read. She loves soccer. She's been playing travel soccer ball since she was in kindergarten and played for both the Farmingdale uh, JV and varsity soccer uh, teams here at the high school. Not only that, she's given back to the community. She's volunteered with the Love Michael organization, and at the high school, has participated in freshman orientation, the 9-11 memorial service, the garden cleanup, and steam night. Incredible. She's incredible. So in summary, Amanda, she really is incredible. And she's always smiling. Always. Amanda will have no doubt, I have no doubt she will find great success in her future. In the fall, she's going to Binghamton, where she is studying science. Neuroscience. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Amanda Drew. Thank you, Mr. Herman, for the wonderful introduction. Welcome, friends, family, teachers, and faculty to the Farmingdale High School Class of 2022 graduation ceremony. I've been imagining this day for a while now, yet it's still hard to believe that it's finally arrived. I'd like to start off with a few thank yous. Firstly, thank you to the teachers and faculty of Farmingdale High School. Teachers, your job goes far beyond teaching us class curriculum. You become friends, role models, and mentors for us students as we're becoming young adults. Teaching is not an easy job. Thank you for consistently putting in the effort to prepare us for the real world. Your hard work does not go unnoticed. Administrators, you don't have an easy job either. You have worked tirelessly from our freshman orientation to the ceremony tonight in order to make our high school experience special. So thank you for all your time and dedication. I'd also like to thank my family for their unwavering support. To my parents, you always put me first, constantly driving me places, attending my special events. I really do appreciate the trust that you place in me and all the sacrifices that you've made along the way. To my sister, Melissa, I'm so glad that we grew so much closer over the past few years. And thank you for always being my number one supporter. You're such a kind and compassionate person, and I'm lucky to call you my sister. And last, but certainly not least, thank you to the class of 2022. We have laughed, cried, and grown together, and I'm beyond grateful for you all. Entering the building for the first time as a freshman, there are a lot of things we hope for. We hope that we'll find our classes without being late. We hope that our teachers will be nice, and that we'll make new friends. As the years progress, hope is a constant that never fades. You can feel it while frantically refreshing your email and waiting for the musical cast list to be posted. It's felt on the field during overtime, both teams fighting for the goal that will determine who moves on and who's eliminated. Hope is present while gathered with your music ensemble waiting for NISMA major scores to be announced. Of course, there's hope to be found in everyday events as well. We hope that we'll get a good grade in our English essay, that our teacher will postpone the project deadline by one more day, and that, just maybe, we'll get a decent amount of sleep for once. Um, as the days turn to weeks, then to months and years, we never stop hoping. Once senior year began, my perspective started to shift slightly. 
Suddenly, we were surrounded by endings and final moments. Inevitably, we start considering who and what we will be leaving behind once we graduate. As I experienced my last events with groups such as History Club, Costume Crew, Sad Club, and Robotics Club, to name a few, I became more introspective, reflecting on how far both my fellow seniors and the underclassmen following in our footsteps have come during the past few years. I hope that I have been able to make a positive impact on the underclassmen, and that they continue pursuing their interests with the same passion that I've seen within them this year. I also hope that Farmville High School remains a community that unites together when faced with difficult situations and uncertain times. While my younger classmates continue to grow and develop at Farmingdale, I hope that I can do the same as I enter college in this next chapter of my life. Ultimately, that is what I wish for all of you. Wherever life takes you, I hope you find what you need, even if it comes in ways that you may not have expected. Leaving high school, we are now presented with an increase in freedom and consequently a variety of choices. Now, speaking as a very indecisive person, this can be a rather intimidating thought. I can spend up to half an hour choosing what restaurant to order dinner from. So how am I supposed to start making decisions that will impact the course of my entire life? It won't be easy, but what I like to remind myself is that we don't have to do this alone. Um, our families, teachers, and friends are all there by our side. They can be there for support and advice as we discover how to balance our adult lives. I hope that we all find the balance that works for us, and remember to see the bigger picture as we make our choices. In the years to come, there will be times when it is hard to remain hopeful, and it feels like we are bombarded by negativity. We will face struggles and disappointment that appear impossible to overcome. However, there's a related quote that I'd like to share from South African theologian Desmond Tutu that truly resonated with me. Hope is being able to see that there's light despite all of the darkness. Retaining hope is most crucial during the difficult times. Hope yields determination and gives us the strength to remain focused on the light, even when the darkness seems to overpower it. Keep fighting to see the good in the world and each other, and keep hoping even when it seems impossible. Thank you, everyone, and congratulations to the Farmville High School class of 2022. Thank you, Amanda. And next here to present the Dr. Gary E. Park Community Service Award is Board of Education Vice President, Mrs. Suzanne Domingo. Intelligent, mature, community-minded, and most of all, humble, are all terms that have been used to describe this year's recipient of the Dr. Gary E. Carp Community Service Award. This young lady has challenged herself in the classroom every year. Having the desire to expand beyond the boundaries of Farmingdale, she sought out opportunities on her own with several politicians to secure internships. Her purpose has always been to learn and grow and to be a productive member of our community. She cares deeply about human rights and equality. She is a leader in every sense of the word. She spearheaded a curriculum writing project for a not-for-profit organization to help amplify the voices of today's youth. The purpose is to emphasize the importance of voting and it will be used for other students in years to come. She works with the younger members of our community to teach water safety skills at the SPLASH program and serves our town as a volunteer firefighter. She was born to serve and represent those who can't represent themselves. She also holds a GPA of over 100, is a varsity athlete, and manages it all with grace and a smile on her face. We are so proud to announce that the recipient of this year's Dr. Gary E. Park Community Service Award is presented to Sarah Monaco.
Next, I'd like to invite Assistant Principal Mrs. Arlene Martinez to introduce our Class of 2022 Valedictorian. Good evening and welcome, parents, guests, faculty, members of the Board of Education, and our esteemed guests for graduating class. It is my honor to introduce you to our valedictorian for the class of 2022, Kevin Pereno. <laughs> Throughout his career in the Farmingdale School District, Kevin has been curious. Kevin's curiosity began as a child when his grandfather encouraged him to explore his various interests. Watching his sister excel academically motivated him to consistently aim higher. With the support of his parents and siblings, Kevin's curiosity of various interests influenced his decision to create and organize events in Farmingdale with the St. Baldrick's Foundation for Childhood Cancer Research. Throughout his time as a St. Baldrick's coordinator, Kevin helped raise over $1 million for the foundation. <laughs> While in high school, he became part of the marching band and earned the distinction of drum major. He was also part of Model UN. He became president of the National Honor Society, president of the History Club, and was also inducted into the Spanish Honor Society, Science Honor Society, and Tri-M Honor Society. Kevin also earned the distinction of National Merit Finalist. Kevin achieved all of these accomplishments while still challenging himself with rigorous coursework. He earned the distinction of valedictorian with a grade point average of 105.32. Georgetown University, where he will major in international politics. Please help me welcome Farmingdale High School's valedictorian for the class of 2022, Kevin Pereira. Good evening, parents, teachers and staff, administration, and friends, my fellow graduating seniors. It is an honor to be given the opportunity to speak before you on this momentous day. First of all, I will start by congratulating all of you. Everything you've accomplished in the last four years, all the ways you've grown and learned since your very first days of kindergarten, have led you to this room today. Our journeys to this point may have been different. You have each triumphed over different struggles, risen up through different failures, and worked hard to reach different goals. But all of those paths have led you here, and all of them are worth selling. When you walk across this stage, remember everything you did to make it here, and be proud. Remember all the lessons you learned on your journey to this room. Our teachers have worked tirelessly over our years here to equip us with as much knowledge as humanly possible to take on the world that we are about to enter. They've been part of the lessons that we hope have prepared us for the many paths we take after graduation, be they college, trade school, or the military. And no matter which path we choose to follow, we stand here hoping that we have learned enough to be ready for it. And I believe that we have. Not just because of the things our incredible teachers have taught us in classroom lectures and after school help sessions, but also because of what we have taught one another. When we have learned our knowledge from our teachers, we have learned experiences from our peers. So much of our growth as people has been defined by our interactions with one another as we've risen through the years together. And it is that I'd like to focus on today. The lessons we have learned from each other. We've learned from friends and classmates how to work with others, in group projects and team sports, but also the little struggles of daily life and the turmoil of growing up. We've learned how to lean on friends in hard times and how to be there for them in return. That's not something that can be taught in the classroom. But the days and weeks and years of school together have honed the skill that we need to collaborate, lead, and support one another, all of which will be key to our lives going forward. We have each other to thank for that. We've learned to rise from failure and to grow from by watching one another make mistakes and making friends up when they fall, we have learned to recognize our own missteps and work to become better. Each time we help a friend catch up on assignment, accept criticism on something they may have worked hard on, or stand back up for personal struggles that have knock them down, we have made ourselves and each other great. We've learned to respect different opinions, 
understanding others and taking note of them, hearing and valuing their perspective, is a skill grown by necessity through years and years of classroom debate and hallway chatter amongst the 406 games. Not all of us agree with each other, but we have learned to respect those with whom we may find differences. As we begin our adult lives and meet new friends and colleagues, it will be crucial to understand their beliefs and reflect on our own. By challenging one another to question our assumptions and respect different views, we've helped define our individual values and prepared ourselves to engage thoughtfully with the world around us. We all possess so many skills. Compassion, patience, strength, loyalty, honor, all of which have been strengthened and shaped by the ways in which we've learned from each other. And the motivation for that learning is born of our classmates, too. We have grown because we have wanted to emulate the greatness we saw in our friends, to be helpful members of teams and communities, and to constantly push each other to be better. A philosopher Socrates once said, education is the kindling of a flame, not the filling of a vessel. Our classrooms can teach us much, but a brain full to the brim with knowledge in the world means nothing without the spark to apply it. Our friends and classmates are often ones who inspire in us the passion of what we have learned to use. I know that in my case, my friends gave me a drive to be better and to grow alongside them that will never leave me. And for that, I cannot thank them enough. And so this is why I chose to speak on this topic today. Many of us will learn from teachers or mentors. Some of us will attend other institutional learning. But what makes this moment, this experience, wholly and entirely unique is each other. While this community will always be here to welcome us when we return, never again will we have this graduating class with whom we have spent the last four years all gathered together in one place. Never again will we see these same faces in the halls every day, the faces of people who have had a profound and continued impact on us, even if we don't know them. Because even if you don't know someone, they probably still affect you. Perhaps not directly, but they may have influenced someone who influenced someone else, who influenced your friend, who influenced you. Through this butterfly effect, every person in this room has affected every other person in this room, one way or another. So take a look around. Breathe it in for just a moment. These are the people who have made you who you are. You are the people who have made me who I am. I'm so glad that I get the opportunity to stand up here and thank you for that. Thank you to every senior in this room for growing and learning and failing and succeeding alongside me. I'm glad our paths all led us here, to this room and this community that has defined and connected us. And so it is because of that connection that I can say these next words with absolute confidence. You are all going to be amazing. I know that because I know that you've all, in your own ways, experienced the same lessons that I have, and that we've all grown together to become something truly incredible. So much of who we are and who we will one day become is thanks to the effect that we have had on each other across these four years together. I hope that it has been a positive one. Thank you all so very much, and congratulations. of the valedictorian and salutatorian. When I first ran for class president, 
I didn't know I would be expected to give a speech. But now that the time is here, it really is an honor to speak before you all today on this special day. The one that has always felt so far is here, graduation day. For some, this is an exclamation point at the end of a sentence you reread fondly for the rest of your life. For others, it's a sigh of relief to finally be leaving high school behind. And for most, the thrill of leaving mom and dad's place is thrilling. <laughs> Don't worry, parents, they'll be back in a few years. Lucky for my folks, I'm a commuter, so they're stuck with me. During these exciting times, we tend to look into the future, but I'd like to take a moment to reminisce on our past few years together. Freshman year, we experienced the culture shock of high school. Our binders were organized and we made meaningful friendships. Sophomore year, we weren't at the bottom of the pyramid anymore. We started to get acclimated until, you know, I'm not gonna say it. Junior year, wow, yeah, that was a normal year. Uh, we took SATs, had a prom, no, that was senior year. Senior year, we had a prom, a senior walk, a banquet. We strengthened lifelong friendships, sent in college applications. This year was one of the most competitive years to apply, so I think we did a pretty good job even with all that senioritis. By now, those binders have gotten pretty messy if you still even had one. We got to play sports and instruments together again. We had so many fun events, fundraisers, inductions. It was quite a comeback. And last but not least, we have our graduation. We really have experienced so many ups and downs these past four years, some bigger than others. But sometimes it's the lows that bring us together. We've all become a team here at Farmingdale High School. Each student and staff member has been a teammate and a coach, a friend and a mentor. Our teachers were more than just educators. They've gone above and beyond to become our encouraging supporters that have pushed us to our potential, even when the odds were against us. And we as classmates have come out of this journey more united and I believe a more appreciative student body. We have learned so much in our classrooms, but I believe the biggest lesson has been that not everything is given. In fact, nothing is. All that we've just looked back on cannot be taken for granted. Not a prom, not a graduation, not an education. We are so lucky to be together today, so let's continue to make the most of moments given to us. I'll miss making memories with friends, sharing laughs with classmates, and saying hi to acquaintances in the hall. I cannot believe it's been 13 years since we first walked through the doors of our kindergarten classes. Soon we will throw our caps up together as a family. We'll always have a home here, not only in this district, but with each other. We've all learned so much from our teachers and leaders, but we often neglect how much we've learned from one another, making us who we are today, the people that will be going out into the world and creating new homes. We have forever left the paw print on the path that taught us to walk. Now we can hunt our dreams, creating a trail with our daily pride. Now, if you all would please smile for a quick picture together. <laughs> One second. <laughs> all right, I hope I got one. All right, I thank you all for the honor of being your class president these past four years. It's truly been my pleasure to serve you all. This is an end of an era and the beginning of a new one. My sincerest congratulations to you all. Thank you and have an amazing rest of your day. We had to jump. Thank you, Nadia. Next to present the Board of Education Award is our Board of Education President, Mr. Michael Goldberg. Good evening. The Board of Education Award is given each year to the student that just exudes Daler pride. This year's recipient has made the most of her years at Farmingdale High School as enjoyed every minute. She's an integral member of several honor societies, DECA and Playcrafters. She's a Dalerette and a cheerleader. Changing from uniform to uniform, bow to bow, but keeping the Daler smile wide across her face. As a student government president, she has been a cheerleader for, for us all. She has brought a much needed sense of school spirit to our building this year as we have followed her lead each morning and stood to pledge allegiance, happy to be back in school every day. This young lady helped plan a rockin' homecoming, handed out hundreds of bagels, and spread positive messages for PSI Love You Day, 
and helped to raise thousands of dollars for St. Baldrick's. She has brought the students together using social media in a positive way that makes everyone feel included and a part of our amazing high school community. She is a leader, not because of an election or a title, but like her sisters before her, it is just who she is. It is in her nature and clearly in their genes. She leads, like so many great leaders by example, and looks for no recognition. This young woman is already mature behind, beyond her years. She has balanced what should be overwhelming responsibility in high school beautifully. She will bring that maturity, balance, and of course, her daler spirit with her to Boston College in the fall. The Board of Education Award is presented to Vanessa Espinosa. Congratulations, Vanessa. And now I'd like to invite our superintendent of schools, Mr. Paul Defendini, for his message to the class of 2022. Good evening to our Farmingdale family. This graduation and this graduating class is special. So special that amidst my greatest efforts, I have been able and challenge to find the right words to celebrate all that you have accomplished and all that you have overcome in these last few years. The world has placed more roadblocks in your path than any graduating class in recent history. I believe that you deserve something special this evening, something above and beyond any other graduating class to commemorate your unique journey. So I did what any good speaker does when they are at a loss for the right words. I googled it. Typing in great commencement addresses of all time leads one to a seemingly unending number of videos, all of which are engaging and thoughtful, but all lacking in authenticity. And I learned a long time ago that anything lacking authenticity doesn't warrant repeating. So I let it go, hoping that inspiration would find me later in the week. I was on the hunt for inspiration and authenticity for my graduates of the class of 2022. This past weekend was one of those times. On Saturday morning, I packed up my truck for my son's lacrosse tournament at Mitchell Field, a truly unsuspecting activity. Not a place where one would expect inspiration, or at least the kind of inspiration that's needed in order to frame a commencement address such as this. My father, Archie Defendini, who goes to all of my son's games was watching him struggle before the third game. My father taking it all in from his folding chair on the sideline, having said nothing of merit all day long, all of a sudden yells at the top of his lungs, Ganas. My son and I wanted to disappear. My father has a way of saying what is on his mind, regardless of who is around to hear it. It's just what he does. My father was unshaken by our reaction. He repeated himself, this time even louder than before, ganas, siempre ganas. For those of you that might not know, the word ganas means desire, and it is a reference to the movie Stand and Deliver. In the movie, during a faculty meeting, a group of teachers in a challenging school were working on a solution to prevent the school from losing its accreditation. It was then that Jaime Escalante, the movie's protagonist, said to the teachers in the room that the students would rise to the level of expectation. All that was needed was ganas. He believed that he could and would do more for his students. It wasn't the first time my son had heard the word. My father had said it to him before. My son looked toward my father and proceeded to play the third game with an energy that I hadn't seen in weeks. My father knew what to say and exactly when to say it. It was simply his way. Sitting there in this seemingly peaceful moment, I realized 
that this was the authenticity I was looking for. I didn't need a Google search to find the right words. I simply had to ask my father. So on this day, with this particular graduating class, I can offer to you these simple words from Jaime Escalante. People will rise to the level of expectation you set for them. All you need is ganas. So if you want to make the world a better place, expect those around you and yourself to be good human beings. Expect that you will fail and fail often, but your time as a daler has taught you that it is not failing, but instead getting up and trying again that shapes your character. Expect that your journey in this world will take sudden and unexpected twists and turns, but never lose sight of your goals and aspirations. Never succumb to anything less than your ideals and your deep sense of civility. Expect that you will fall in love and out of love. And don't ever be cynical about love, for in the face of all of its struggles and strife, love endows you with all you will need to make for a better tomorrow. And finally, expect that the world is not perfect. It will let you down from time to time. You will get hurt. But never lose sight of the great acts of humanity all around you. It is a beautiful world filled with heroism and virtue. You just need to look for it sometimes. If you forget everything else I said tonight, remember the word Jaime Escalante said. All we need is... One more time. All we need is... Ganas. Nothing spectacular has ever happened in history, and nothing significant will ever happen in the future without Ganas. Congratulations to the class of 2022. So now, the moment we've been waiting for, we will begin with the presentation of diplomas. And students, once you've crossed the stage, I remind you to pause for a graduation photograph as you exit the stage. There's also a point in the back where you can also pause for a graduation photograph as you come back to your row. So we'll begin with our presentation of diplomas. Kevin Perino. Amanda Trulick. Vanessa Espinosa. Rania Elgarat. Emma Cullen. Liana Kellendorfer. Frank Rastelli. Matteo Gennaro Lorino. Gianna Robinson. Isabella Racine. Nadia Pinarli. <laughs> Sophia Pereri. <laughs> Emily Urbano. <laughs> Alexander Villatoro. <laughs> James Abeni. Matthew Agnetti. 
Jack Agris. Kevin Akeley. Leslie Alberto Alcantara. Shamir Almonte Cabrera. Anthony Alvarado. Robin Alvarez. Cello Alvarez Lozada. Kira Amarudin. Stilianos Ansley. Shaquilla Arthur. Vincent Aspromonte. Skylar Avedizian. Christopher Avalar Sordo. Louis Badler. Elijah Bailey. Hayden Bailey. Sophia Bakich. Walter Balcaceres. Quinn Bannon. Nicholas Bands. Anthony Barahona Santos. Wensley Barahona. Annabella Barbudo. Peter Baccio. Victoria Baum. Kaya Bairaki. Natalie Begg. Angelina Bello. Emily Bello. Angela Benitez. Shane Bennett. Timothy Beresford. Jessica Baraloff. Logan Berenger. Nicholas Barati. Emma Best. Kyle Bayrod. Matthew Basin. Adriana Bifoco. Anthony Bellello. Celine Bonanno. Ariana Boudou. Matthew Borgia. Olivia Borgia. Haley Boyle. Matthew Brandamardi. Nick Braze. Christopher Bruno. Jonathan Burkle. Brandon Bush. Saeedjit Buttar. Constance Firetire. Julia Cacavelli. Shannon Callius.
Gianna Camisa. Samantha Cantoni. Jack Capalbo. Matthew Capo. Jason Capetta. Matthew Carbo. Juan Pablo Carcamo, Jr. Ava Cassiano. Catherine Cassidy. Roxana Castro. Rose Cavanaugh. Jenna Marie Cavanaugh. Ryan Cepeda. Matthew Chauvin. Trevor Chifalo. Ramita Chowdhury. Joshua Min Young Chung. Nicholas Chiaccio. Dominic Sinchon. Caitlin Civelli. Sydney Clark. Malik Clark. Ashley Coelho. Emily Cohen. Gianna Coletti. Victoria Canigliaro. Abigail Corey. Ryan Chorus. Trayvon Council. Jenna McKay Cox. Gianna Crocido. Lloydy Janady Q. Zach Curran. Robert D'Ambrosio. Lauren Danielevitt. Heather Day. Alexis De Leon. Darlin Del Cid Cruz. Joseph DeLuca. Grace Elizabeth Durbin. Grace DeSalvo. Frank DeSantis. Nicole Dyson. Matt Diaz. Nayel Diaz Alvarez. James Dilger. Andrew DiPietro. Anthony Domingo. Ethan Duran. Megan Dreyer. Ronald Driscoll. 
Alyssa Drozdowski. Robin Ely. <laughs> Michaela Elise Ellington. Asan El Minabawi. Andrew Escobar. Justin Espinal. Talia Espinal. Justin Estrella. I know you. Nicole Eustash. <laughs> Dimitri Examalotis. <laughs> Angelina Facciano. Jacob Falco. Victoria Finelli. Catherine Farinacci. Alexander Farrell. Connor Farrell, Rachel Feldman, Emily Fernandez, Ernesto Ferreira, Alyssa Fields. Juliana Figueroa Landon Filosa Frank Finnerty Fitzgerald, Lizette Flores, Ruben Fournier, Rick Franco, Deontay Francois. Holly Frantino. Jason Freiman. Michaela Frisbee.
Ashley Garcia. Daniela Garcia. Gregory Gaudio. Bianca Giannato. Mark Gill. Jake Gilberg. Alexandra Gilman. Faith Giordano. Isabella Giordano. Michael Giordano. Jessica Mary Giordano. Tanya Gomez. Timothy Gonzalez. Dennis Goral. Emma Grady. Spencer Graham. Vanessa Granados. Emma Grazia Day. John Gregorovic. Isabella Guerrera. Amanda Hall. Jordan Hawley. Diana Hernandez. Josefa Hernandez Cruz. Samantha Herrera. Aaron Hickey. Catherine Hickey. James Hickis. Ben Hoffman. Simon Hoke. Jeremy Horowitz. Elena Horvat. Jason Hughes. Sarah Hughes. Louis Iacino. Kasim Ithikar. Ian Innes. Malia Irfan Faisal. Justin Janicki. Michaela Johnson. Kiori Johnson. Ashton Jonik. Antoine Jones. Lanisa Jones. Sanaya Jones.
Brian Juice. Adanasius Casaonis. Christina Keen. Gianna Kigo. Camden Kelly. Ryan Kelly. Samantha Kelly. Elisa Kenny. Franny Kylie. Michelle Katamanowis. Christopher Kreshmar. Laura Kusselin. Nora Kusselin. Christina Koriakos. Kiera Lambert. Fohensi Langumis Montero. Erica Lanza. Victoria Lanza. Gianna LaRosa. Anthony Laughlin. Riley Leahy. Matthew Leventini. Vincent Lynn. Stephen Licata. Isabella Link. Robert Livingston. Gavin Lofaro. Santiago Lopez. Alexis Lopos. Austin Lucas. Aiden Lynch. Ian Lynch. Michael Maggio. Erin Danielle McGrain. Hannah Sarah Mahadio. Connor Maloney. Sarah Monador. Joey Mancini. Taylor Manfredo. Kyle Manzo. Elizabeth Marchetti. Hunter Margiota. Gianna Marinello. Catherine Marino. <laughs> Alyssa Marcovina. Dolores Marquez. 
Nicole Page Marrero, Allison Martins, Molly Martin, Alex Martinez, Ronald Javier Martinez Velasquez. Evan May. Jaden McFarlane. Brandon McGee. Shannon McGowan. Taylor McGuire. Miles McIntyre. Courtney McKenna. Leah McKenna. Kate McLaughlin. Julianne McNally. Javier Mejia, Dylan Mendelson, Daniel Mendez, Joseph Meyer, Kayla Meyer. Michael Mezzapella. Shannon Michael. Mark Taylor Michelle. Lauren Michelle. <laughs> Antonio Migliaccio. Harrison Miller, Jake Miller, Ryan Miller, Melanie Misback, Angela Molo, Thomas Morgenthaler. William Moritz, Diani Morris, Deshanae Morris, Sarah Morrison, Isabella Montricus, Aiden Murphy, Grace Murphy. Sean Murphy, Vincent Murray, Jeffrey Muscarella, Nicholas Napolitano, Jack Needham, Mackenzie Neglia. Robert Nigro, Renor Nokai, Sean Nolan, Haley O'Donnell, Xavier Ocasio, Michael Ochapinti, Giuseppe Oliveri, Jacob Olivo, Kenji Pacheco, Harry Jeremiah Pagan.
Thomas Palermo. James Panetta. Ashley Pantano. Aaron Periona. Peter Pascarella. Om Patel. Gael Patron Ortega. Jaden Patterson. Peyton Patterson. Franklin Adoni Pavone Santos. Christian Paz. Luis Panado. Timothy Perez. Catherine Perez. Luke Pakikaro. Christian Pacone. Yvette Portillo. Joanna Pasilico. Deja Pruitt. John Poulos. Tara Pine. Ryan Quinn. Terrence Quinn. Jose Quintana Quintanilla. Maham Qureshi. Jenna Razka. Michael Robert Razul. Gianna Ragon. Brandon Galapani. Krishna Rapelli. Tasneen Rizout. Taylor Reggio. Angelina Ruggiero. Mia Reikley. Olivia Christina Remusat. Jacqueline Retaliato. Emily Reinecker. Jackson Rivera. Katherine Robbins. Ryan Rodriguez. Lady Rodriguez. Morelli Rodriguez. Marlon Rodriguez. Anden Rosario. Jordan Reese Rosenberg. Ali Rossinger. Ryan Roth. Aiden Rabano. Isabella Rabino. Brandon Ruddy. Jenna Raffini. Matthew Rugolo. Braden Russo. 
Jordan Sacciolo. John Salsano. Joe Sanjetta. Matthew Sanchez. Jasmine Sandico. Adiyat Sitar. Christopher Saver. Richard Saver. Nardi Sazo Estrada. Jake Scarmato. Alex Scavone. Matthew Schaffhauser. Liliana Schumeyer. Anthony Shaka. Joseph Shaka. Paul Shaka Jr. Vincent Scabelli. Michael Jesse Scuderi. Daniel Seaman. Karen Seber. Gianni Seminario. Gina So. William Segura Aragon. Nicole Shapiro. Nora Sharif Ali. Nathan Sherry. Aiden Sham. <laughs> Talik Simmons. Dalbar Singh. Kayla Singh. Rachel Sirico. Jordan Smichael. Christopher Smith Jr. Aaron Smith. Malika Sodi. Anastasia Sofranen. Austin Somers. Wilmer Soto Guevara. Brianna Stapleton. Kayla Stark. Maria Stefanidis. Renee Stein. Aiden Steinheimer. Jake Steffen. Christopher Sullivan. Keith Sullivan. Nabia Saeed. Hermile Tahir. Mia Tanazo. Matthew Toplansky. Ryan Thomas. Valeria Toro. Margaret Tower. Christofredo Triumphal. Christopher Trotti. 
Alvina Cho. Olivia Turry. Jonathan Rocco Unterweiser. Gabriella Valerio. Jasmine Vanzi. Kevin Vasquez. Kara Vecchio. Anthony Vega. Tatiana Velasquez. Christopher Vent. Brianna Verdi. Jonathan Vieira Diaz. Joshua Vieira Diaz. Alexis Villamil. Antonio Villamil. Duane Villanueva Salas. Aiden Wagner. Kayla Walker. Devin J. Wallach. Brooke Warshawski. Marcin Vyashpashuda. Jabari Wellington. Aaron White. Kira White. Heaven White. Jeffrey Wicks. Josiah Wilkes. Janice Williams. Matthew Williams. Kyle Wilson. Mia Wishlow. Isabella Wood. Ryan Woodland. Juliana Young. James Anilotti. Cameron Zapolo. Maria Zarilli. Zach Zarilli. Alexandra Zemak. Kirsten Zemak. Lindsay Zemak.
At this time, I present to you the graduating class of 2022, and I'd like to invite our graduates to please stand and face the family members around you. Graduates, by the power vested in me with each senior having received a Farmingdale High School diploma, I certify to the Superintendent of Schools and the Board of Education that each member of the class of 2022 has successfully met all standards and requirements set forth by the New York State Department of Education and Farmingdale Public Schools. I ask that you now transfer your tassels from the right side to the left side and congratulations you are graduates! Thank you all for joining us, and congratulations again to the Farmingdale High School Class of 2022.